Gather round, hard enduro fans. It's the all-important day three of Red Bull Minas Riders. The adventure continues as the world's best take on another day of off-road insanity. Day 2 featured incredible landscapes and determined riding. After an exhausting 7 hours on the bike, Graham Jarvis took best time and made the fight for first with Alfredo Gomez even closer. Day 3, another 150 kilometers of rugged riding. Jarvis is the first up the steep incline, blazing a trail for the rest of the pack to follow. Philip Schultz, Alfredo Gomez, and Paul Bolton are soon on the hunt. In the early going, it's Bolton who rides the hardest, earning the fastest time through the first two checkpoints. Brazilians Gustavo Pelin and Bruno Crevillian do their best to keep up but are soon overwhelmed by their native terrain. Philip Schultz, raising his game, catches up with a somewhat lost Jarvis and they decide to team up. The young German follows in his trail until the Brit pulls away. Despite some early falls, Gomez gets some encouragement from the fans and is soon back on point. Heading into the fifth hour, the toughest challenges are still to come. A slippery section called Snakes and Ladders has the riders grasping for footholds, with some riders taking the chance to cool off before the final climb, hopefully with no snakes to be found. One more mountain is all that remains. Jarvis, Gomez, and the rest charge up, not daring to look down. No time to enjoy the view, the way down is equally as challenging. After six hours of riding, it's Jarvis who crosses first, followed by Gomez. However, because of the Brit's three minute head start, it's the Spaniard who gets the fastest time of the day. After the service point, much better than uh, before, I almost catch Graham. The strategy will be Try to, to catch him uh, like uh, today and uh, we'll see at the end if I can win. Well, I think for the final day tomorrow, I'm just going to have to just go through it. You know, there's no playing safe or anything. I'm going to have to uh, maybe take a few risks and uh, just keep it pinned. At the end of day three, Gomez has added to his overall lead, now ahead of Jarvis by four minutes. Bolden also has strengthened his claim for third with another solid showing. But Schultz is still lurking within striking distance. It all comes down to the final race day. After 16 hours of racing, only four minutes separate the top two. Will Gomez hold up the first ever Red Bull Minas Riders trophy, or can the veteran Jarvis mount a comeback? <laughs>